वेलकम टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम्स सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर दैट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड रेप्लिकेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज वी सा व्हाट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम व्हाई डू वी नीड अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम एंड व्हाई डू दे एग्जिस्ट एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो दैट वी विल सी एंड अंडरस्टैंड रेप्लिकेशन रेप्लिकेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ रेप्लिकेटिंग द डेटा सेट फ्रॉम वन one place to other place for example one machine to other machine so in this lecture uh, we will understand what is replication so replication is a process of replicating the data from one machine to another machine let's consider a simple okay let's consider this is in storage and we have a client and which writes and reads data from this machine let's say this is a single node setup single node setup now whenever the client writes the data <coughs> it is stored here <coughs> let's consider the db it's a master db let's consider the master db it's a mysql the client writes the data into mysql and reads the data reads the data from mysql so it queries the mysql and what if this is down if this is down what will happen if this is down then the client will not able to access this mysql cluster since it has only one machine so how to improve how to how to improve that how, how we can achieve the high availability so one way to do this is replicate the data for example we have a separate machine which runs the mysql process let's consider is a slave db this is this contains all the data that master has for example it replicates the data from the master to the slave so whenever you write the data into the mysql master it will be automatically replicated into the slave this is how we set up the replication in the mysql uh, of any sql database here in this i am we are considering the mysql as an example it could be any database any distributed database whenever we write uh, we can make a multiple copy of it multiple copies of it in the multiple machines so that uh, it can be highly available so whenever the one machine fails that the data will be available in some other machine so that we can able to read now the client writes the data now it accepts the writes and stores it in the local machine and runs a response asynchronously the data is pushed into the slave machine now instead of writing instead of reading the data from the master now the client it can read the data from the slave machine now the reads and writes are separated uh, so the reason we have separated is because that we can scale more writes and we can scale more reads so this is separated now we have improved the scalability of the uh, database also we have improved the availability now oh, if this machine fails that we have we still have the slave db to accept the reads slave db to, slave db to serve the reads so this is what replication in distributed database so we copy the data set from one machine to other machine for high availability and scalability so the client can read the data from the slave machines so this is what simple replication this is read replication uh, whenever we write the data into a master we read it from the slave and next uh, we will see the cap theorem